guys, so today I want to tell you a little bit about why you might want to avoid the lip gloss for the summer. And I have to say I'm guilty of it. I'm wearing lip gloss right now. And I think that lip gloss is kind of like a girl's best friend. Whether you love makeup or whether you're just kind of into it, I think that every girl has a lip gloss. And I think it's kind of a go-to in a lot of daily routines just because it can spruce someone up so much with so little effort. Here's the problem. Now this isn't for all lip glosses, but most lip glosses actually are not that great for the lips. They can be very drying and the worst part is that they can cause the lips to kind of soak up the sun and the UV rays more than they should. Um, and that isn't all lip glosses. There are some that are great that have SPF. Lipsticks and chapsticks are generally a little bit safer. But if you take a look at your lip gloss, the first or second ingredient is probably petroleum. Right here, this is one from Victoria's Secret. It's in Sublime, one of my favorites. I would recommend it to anyone. Um, the ingredients are polybututhane, hydrogenated prosiglane, and mineral oil. Mineral oil is basically the same thing as petroleum. Now, let's rewind for a second. If someone wants to tan, and tanning is dangerous, I'll link you to some videos about why you shouldn't tan and some alternatives to tanning, and a little bit of summer sun is good, no problem, but to actually go out there, not so much. Anyways, back on to the topic of lipsticks. Um, if someone wants to go out and get a really good tan, what do they do? Not only do they lay in the sun, but what do they slap on their skin? Maybe some baby oil, maybe some mineral oil. Why that works is because that mineral oil creates like a film on the skin and it magnifies the sun's rays. It's like holding a magnifying glass over your skin and the sun's rays are already going to be dangerous enough to tan you. Guess what? It's going to be multiplied. So when these ingredients in here are petroleum, mineral oil, baby oil, same thing, what do you think that's doing to our lips? Also, our lips are much more sensitive than the rest of our skin. The rest of our skin has melatonin. Our lips don't have that much melatonin. Melatonin is what makes us tan. And when the sun hits our skin and makes it tan, the tan is the skin's way of protecting itself from the sun. Hang, stop, this is, this is bad. Our lips can't do that very effectively. So that is why this can be so dangerous, because it's like putting a magnifier on our lips. And for summer, we want to be glossy, we want to be pouty and cute. So it's kind of like a tug of war, like do we put this stuff on and risk the danger or not? So I did want to tell you that putting on lips, lip gloss is very, very dangerous, but there's good news because there are different alternatives. Of course, there are some lip glosses that have SPF in them. They stick just as long, they're just as cool, they're just as amazing. Stay out as long, great color, only you're protected. But what happens if you are a lip gloss junkie like me? What happens if you have 20, 30, 50, 100 lip glosses that have this petroleum? Does that mean you're going to throw them away? No. <laughs> as a beauty person, you should know already that there is no reason to waste a beauty product. You could give them away, but don't do that because there's a way to fix everything. What I love to do is actually take a primer. They have lip primers or even chapsticks that have SPF in them. There are some lip primers that you usually put under lipstick to make them last longer that work great underneath a lip gloss. And what that does is that if it has SPF 15, 20, or even 30, it'll kind of create a buffer for that gloss so that, that way the sun doesn't penetrate as much as like sunscreen for your lips. But what if you don't have a lip primer with sunscreen or what if you don't want to spend the money? You guys can go to the drugstore and there are chapsticks out there that have SPF in them. I just totally threw my lip gloss. Whoa, I just totally threw it again. Uh, but they have the stuff in there and guess what? They work just as good, if not even better sometimes, than an actual lip primer. And that's under gloss. For lipsticks, you do want to use a primer because they're going to be a little bit more waxy. But you could just use chapstick with a little bit of SPF in it, maybe a Burt's Bees. You get it for a dollar at the drugstore, maybe two or three depending on the brand. And you put your lip gloss right over and all of a sudden you're more protected than just using this alone. Um, that's a great alternative. Of course, you can look for these that already have SPF in them. But for those of you who didn't know, maybe some of you already did, I did want to put that out there and just tell you guys to be careful this summer because, you know, the tan is cool and everything, but the tan will fade. And, you know, when you have this irreversible damage, a lot of people don't understand that until it's a little bit too late. So I'm not trying to be a harker. I'm not trying to push stuff on anyone. Uh, but I definitely think it's important to just be aware of that and try to take those proactive steps to do the next thing. And also, there's products that I love like um, Neutrogena and CoverGirl. And it's like a moisture balm and the CoverGirl one is a Lash a Luke stick or whatever. Let me tell you, those already have color in them, but you can even layer those with this. So let's say you put on the CoverGirl one and it's slightly pink. You can put on a pink lip gloss and not only are you protected from the sun because of the SPF in there, but you have like a boost of pink so it's even pinker than pink and it changes the color of your lip gloss. Or 
So you want to do a pink with a red gloss over it, it'll turn your red gloss a little bit pinker. Or if you do red underneath and then you put like an orange gloss, it'll give it even more of a kind of a pouty, um, what would that be? You can make like a strawberry, strawberry color, anything guys. It, the sky's the limit. Just play around with your beauty stuff and of course, please post a comment or a video response and share what you know or what you've learned. Um, would you guys like a video on like favorite lip gloss, lipstick, or lip gloss chapstick combinations? I don't know. Anyways, guys, stay fun. Oh, stay fun. Stay safe and stay fun. Stay fun. Have fun and stay safe this summer. Um, and of course, I'll see you all here tomorrow because we post a video every day and we feel really cool about it. Uh, but I love you guys. Your lip gloss loves you. You just have to love your lip gloss back in the right way. So I'll talk to you all soon. And of course, I can't wait to hear your video responses. All right. I'll see you guys later. Love you guys. Bye.